King James Bible, the book of Job, chapter 1. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was seven thousand sheep and three thousand camels and five hundred yoke of oxen and five hundred she-asses and a very great household, so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. And his sons went and feasted in their houses every one his day, and set and called for the th their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job set, sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that, it may be that my, sons may have, my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came and came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a, per up, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and sheweth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Hast not thou made a hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and the substance is increased in the land. But, but put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And there was a day when the sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job, and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them, and the Sabines fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another messenger and said, the fire of God is fallen from heaven, and hath burned up the sheep and the servants, and consumed them. And I am only escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another, and said, The Chaldeans made out three bands, and fell upon the camels, and have carried them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another, and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness, and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they were are dead. And I am only escaped alone to tell thee. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head, and fell down upon the ground in worship, and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Chapter 2 Again there is a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and sheweth evil? And still he holdeth fast, fast his integrity, although thou movedest me against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. But put forth thine hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. So went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord, and smote Job, sorry, Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown. And he took him a potsherd to scrape himself withal, and he sat down among the ashes. Then he said, Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. 
But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and we shall not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. And when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that was come upon him, they came every one from his own place, Eliphaz the Tamanite, and Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Namathite. For they had made an appointment together to come to mourn with him and to comfort him. And when they lifted up their eyes afar off, and knew him not, they lifted up their voice and wept, and they rent every one his mantle, and sprinkled dust upon their heads toward heaven. So they sat down with him upon the ground seven days and seven nights, and none spake a word unto him, for they saw that his grief was very great. Chapter 3 After this opened Job his mouth, and cursed, the, cursed his day. And Job spake, and said, let the day perish wherein I was born, and the night in which it was said that there is a man-child conceived. Let that day be darkness. Let God not regard it from above, neither let the light shine upon it. Let darkness and shadow of death stain it. <clears throat> let it. Let a cloud dwell upon it. Let the blackness of the day terrify it. As for the night, let darkness seize upon it. Let it not be joined unto the days of the year. Let it not come into the number of the months. Lo, let the night be, let that night be solitary. Let no, let no joyful voice come therein. Let them curse it. That curse the day who are ready to rise up in the morning. Let the stars of the twilight thereof be dark. Let it look for light, but have none. Neither let it see the dawning of the day, because it shut not up the doors of my mother's womb, nor hid sorrow from mine eyes. Why died I not from the, from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly? Why did the knees prevent me, or why the breast that I should suck? For now I should have lain still and be quiet. I should have slept, then had I been at rest. With kings and counselors of the earth, which build desolate places for themselves, or with princes that had gold, who filled their houses with silver, or as a hidden untimely birth, I had not been as infants which never saw light. There was wicked. <coughs> excuse me. There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. There the prisoners rest together, they hear not the voice of the oppressor. The small and the great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Wherefore the light is given to him that is in misery, and life unto the bitter, unto the bitter in soul which long for death, but it cometh not, and dig for it more than for hid treasures, which rejoice exceedingly and are glad when they can find the grave. Why is light given to a man whose way is hid, and whom God hath hedged in? For my sighing cometh before I eat, and my roarings are poured out like the waters. For the thing which I greatly feared has come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. I was not in safety, neither had I rest, neither was I quiet, yet trouble came. 